Hi, and welcome to Danny Accounting. My name is Peter. Ever wondered how to distribute an extraordinary dividend in apps? Well, today I've got all the answers for you. So let's dive right in. First up, what is a dividend? Simply put, it's a piece of a profit that goes to a company's shareholders. If your company has share capital like apps and AS, your company can distribute dividends. Now, there are two kinds of dividends. Ordinary dividends, extraordinary dividends. Ordinary dividends. These are linked with an annual report's approval at an annual general meeting. For companies in Denmark, this report should be submitted to the business authority no later than six months after your fiscal year concludes. On the flip side, an extraordinary dividend is like the name suggests. It's special. It's distributed any time during the year and not tied to the approval of the annual report. So, how do you get started with an extraordinary dividend? Call a meeting for both the shareholders and management. The earliest you can think of distributing a dividend is after the first fiscal year ends. But remember, there should be more equity capital then share capital before you can distribute a dividend. We refer to the amount eligible for distribution as dividend as free reserves. The free reserves are basically accumulated profit after tax is paid. A deficit in your company can be a red flag. So if your equity capital dips below the original share capital, keep those dividends on hold. The meetings you call with the shareholders and management are referred to as general meetings. Once per year, it is mandatory to call a meeting to approve the annual report. It's the annual general meeting or AGM for short. And when it's about an extraordinary dividend? Yep, you guessed it, the extraordinary general meeting or EGM. Don't forget, whatever is discussed in these meetings must be noted down. We call the notes for minutes. It's like the meeting's diary. The distribution of the dividend is decided at the general meeting. A quick heads up about declaring dividend and tax. You must declare any dividend and dividend tax to the Danish tax agency by the 10th of the following month. For individual shareholders, the company generally must withhold a dividend tax of 27%. Company shareholders have their own set of tax rules, which we don't delve into right now, but always keep an accountant close. How's the dividend pie sliced? Based on share ownership. So if you've got 20% of the shares, expect 20% of the dividend. But in some rare scenarios, shares can have subclasses that can change this dynamic. Now, who decides about the dividend? It's the company's management or, if you have one, the board of directors. They ensure everything's above board and the company remains financially secure. There are rules in place. Distribute too much dividend or play out of line? The company shareholders might need to pay back the dividend with interest, and majority shareholders might even be in for a costly tax surprise also. Here's a fun fact. If you're distributing an extraordinary dividend within six months post an annual report's approval, you can lean on that report for assurance. But if it's later, you might need a fresh balance sheet, termed the intermediate balance. This provides an updated snapshot of the company's finances. If your company has an audit requirement, remember to get an audited statement prepared. A golden rule? No extraordinary dividends during the company's first fiscal year. After that, never distribute more than your accumulated profits after tax and always with proper documentation. For the shareholders out there looking to regularly receive distributed extraordinary dividends, you can empower the management to decide about dividends without calling an extraordinary general meeting each time. And remember, no shareholders is automatically entitled to an extraordinary dividend. The majority of shareholders decides. There you have it. All things extraordinary dividends in a nutshell. If you are looking for general meeting templates or more detailed information, head over to our website daniaaccounting.com. And as always, consult an accountant to make informed decisions. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time. My name is Peter and we are Dania Accounting.